At White Sands today, NASA launched a prototype of the Orion space capsule designed to replace the shuttle. Now, the space agency did that, even though President Obama plans to cancel the new program. NASA says the test could help to develop other manned spacecraft. Bob Martin has the story. Three, two, one, launch, launch, launch. NASA is testing Orion's escape system, that rocket motor attached to the top of the capsule. It is supposed to blast a capsule full of astronauts safely away from any problem on the launch pad or during liftoff. After climbing to more than 3,000 feet and reorienting itself above the Army's White Sands missile range, parachutes are deployed. A minute and a half after launch, the Orion is set gently back on the ground more than a mile away. Everything worked as it was expected. In fact, we actually touched down at uh, quite significantly less velocity than we had predicted. Reminiscent of the old Apollo command module, the Orion is much bigger, part of a complete system called Constellation, conceived to take the place of the shuttle and take us back to the moon. The launch abort system does complex maneuvering by rapidly firing different control thrusters. Each part was tested individually, but this was the first actual flight. A test like this that, that goes this well is, is just a tribute to the hard work and, and thinking of every possible angle of things that might go wrong. President Obama plans to cancel the Constellation program, but would salvage the Orion capsule for use as an unmanned lifeboat for the space station. The president wants private industry to build new manned rockets. NASA hopes the private sector will be able to use data from tests of Orion for future spacecraft. Bob Martin, KRQE News 13.